Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is Drew here from Lone Fox, and today I have another DIY video for you guys. But today's video is not a DIY room decor, it's actually a DIY organization decor hacks video, I guess you could say, because a lot of these items in this video are actually really nice pieces of decor, but they also serve the purpose of organization, which is something I really wanted to focus on in this video. And not to mention, everything in this video is from the 99 cent store, so I went all in, spent like a billion dollars on this video. It was so expensive, it was actually only $16. And I just created some really really cute and trendy decor items for your space or just organizational items for your space That look really amazing, but also serve the purpose of organization Which I definitely think was a big factor in this video I really wanted to have things that organize your bits and bobs whatever they may be you can use these for different things So if you're not already make sure to subscribe to my channel I post brand new DIY and home decor content every single week And if you would like to follow Lone Fox home on Instagram I post more behind the scenes type stuff over there if you'd like to see that as well But without further ado, I think we should just jump into today's video and I I hope that this can help you guys out and give you a couple tips um, or a couple pieces of decor for your space to keep it nice, clean, and tidy. So jumping into the first project, I am using these metal S hooks I got at the dollar store. I'm gonna use a couple of each size. My dollar store actually had two different sizes, the larger and the smaller, and I thought they were perfect for this project. So I went ahead and used a little bit of gold liquid leaf, which is so pretty. You can find this in the paint section at the craft store. It's normally hanging on the wall, um, and it's like a gold liquid leaf. They have it in brass and many other colors as well. And then I also got a wooden dowel at Michael's for probably a dollar or two, and I actually painted this black using just a nice coat of black paint. Um, and this is going to act as the rod that's kind of going to hold our S hooks because I'm essentially creating like a S hook leather, almost CB2-esque organizer. It's so pretty in the end, I swear. And then I'm using a little bit of faux leather and I'm going to use a ruler just to create one inch strips of this faux leather. Then once I was done creating this one inch strips with a pencil, I went in with a pair of scissors and just cut those out. And then what we're gonna be doing with these one inch strips is actually folding them in half and cutting them. So in the end, it was about a four by one inch strip and I created, I think like eight or nine of these. However many S hooks you have, you're essentially going to want to have one leather strip for each and then you're also going to want to have two additional ones for the ending piece so what you're going to do next is fold it in half and then just mark where you're going to want your hole to be and use a pair of scissors just to create a hole if you do have like a leather hole punch or something that would definitely be better but i didn't have one of those i'm just going to use a pair of scissors to create that hole and then you're going to push your golden s hook through and just look how pretty those gold s hooks are they turned out so nicely so you're just folding it over using the pencil creating a hole um and then gluing them down on either side just to make sure it stays you can also paint the rod whatever color you want as well so you could do it like white or gold or black as I did and then you're also gonna want two leather loops for each end and those are gonna act as like the little um, sections that you can actually nail through onto the wall to hang it up All right, so jumping into project number two, I'm using what's known as a peat pot. I found these at the dollar store. You get 16 of them for a dollar, but they're basically just like little uh, seed potters that you like use to pot plant seeds and they kind of grow from here and then you can like plant them in like a larger area. But I thought I would use it to create like an organizational item. So what I'm using is a ruler and a pencil and I'm just going around the bottom edge and marking one inch up from the bottom, um, a couple marks around the edge just so I have a guide for when I'm going in and using a pair of scissors right now. I'm cutting down to that one inch mark and then I'm gonna cut all the way around just as evenly as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I just tried to make it as even as possible. And the more marks you do, the more even it's gonna be. And I kind of rolled down that top edge a little bit just so it wasn't super blunt and like just cut. And I repeated this process and I created a total of nine of these little one inch tall cups. And you can also just use these like peat pots. <laughs> that's, that's the proper name of them. So I'm just gonna refer to them as that around your house, just as like organizational cups as well. If you'd like to, they're really nice, like almost biodegradable sort of cardboard-esque containers, which I like. And once I have them completely cut out, I did a total of nine of them. You can also do more than this. And then I'm going in using that gold leaf paint that I used in the last project. And I'm kind of just dry brushing this on each of the little containers. I'm not going and perfectly uh, like painting the whole thing and making sure every part of the surface is covered. I'm actually just kind of dry brushing it on there and letting the gold sort of hit the more high points of the cardboard material. and the low points are sort of just the original cardboard because I liked that almost rustic kind of anthropology-esque vibe that it was giving me. So that's exactly what I did. And then I used a little bit of hot glue just to roughly glue together all of these containers. And then on the back side is where I added a lot of glue on each of the joints just to make sure that it was nice and sturdy. And I went around the edge and kind of gave it a gilded look as well, just dry brushing on that gold leaf all the way around the edges and the sides. And then I also just felt like the inside needed it too. I kind of just gold leafed it out. And then in the end, you have this jewelry organizer.
Now this next project is pretty simple. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it's a very easy DIY, but I just wanted to share it with you because I needed something like this for my bathroom too, and I thought I would share it with you. So what I got was this little acrylic organizer at the dollar store, it was actually $2, do not tell anybody, but oh well, I bought it anyways. And I'm using these small little wooden beads I got at Michael's Craft Store, and I'm using the same gold paint once again. As you can see, like I'm just obsessed with brass, but you can use any color that you want. Like you can use a gold, a silver, rose gold, whatever matches your own personal home decor. And I'm painting each of these little uh, beads with the gold paint and these are going to act as feet and handle for the box so we're just kind of taking what's already there on the box and just amplifying it a bit more so I'm using some E6000 adhesive and I'm gluing on the feet on all four corners of the bottom side and I'm also gluing on the top center of the lid uh, the little piece as well and this is going to create a lid and then some feet for your box it just amplifies the look a little bit more Yay, I'm so excited about this project. I think this one's my favorite one in the video. So I am using these dollar store plastic bins. I got three of them. They are actually like a almost translucent dark gray plastic material. And I just wanted to give them a tiny bit of a new look. You guys are gonna be like, what did you even do? I'm giving them a coat of a flat black spray paint. So this is gonna give them a, a matte look, which I think really intensified the almost look of them. It really created a, a more expensive look, I think for sure. Because before they just kind of looked like an actual dollar store basket, but when they're really dark matte black, it actually looks pretty nice and then what I'm going to do is use a little bit of that faux leather I used in my last project and I'm gonna create some handles for these little baskets so we're kind of just amplifying the look of the basket a little bit to make it look a lot more expensive than their traditional $1 price point and I'm cutting these out to the handle width so you're gonna have to kind of measure your own basket to see what you have and I'm cutting it out to the width of the handle and I'm also going to be cutting it out to like be able to fold over the handle but also have a little excess I wanted almost to have like a pull tab handle which sounds awesome Odd, but I thought it just kind of gave a little bit of it a better look as opposed to just wrapping it only around the handle it makes it a little bit more luxurious looking for sure and I thought this looked like a really nice CB2 basket you would see at Target in like a set of three or at CB2 for like $25, $30, but we made them for like probably $4 for all three of these. And I'm gluing down all of the uh, leather pieces on the ends of each of the baskets. I thought it would be fun to organize these in a way where you can stack them and then access each basket by just pulling them off. I absolutely love how cost-effective this DIY is, and I'm using these tool hooks I found at the dollar store, of course, and you get five of them in a pack, but I was like, okay, we can use these as like towel hooks, um, any form of like organizational wall storage you need, you can use this hook for that. So it's an ugly metal material to start because of course you would normally use this in like a garage or something, but I'm going to cover them in some hemp cording. So I'm using just some basic hemp cording I got at the craft store, and I'm using hot glue to just wrap this hemp cording all the way around the entire metal surface of this hook and create literally a $24 anthropology hook. Like guys, we have all seen these there. We've wanted to buy them, but we haven't because we realize that like spending $24 on a hook is not the best for our bank accounts. I mean, I've definitely done it before, so I'm not gonna pretend like I haven't, but I think we all exactly know what I'm talking about. So I'm going in with some hot glue and some hemp cording and I'm going around this wall hook. And if you keep in mind, this was a dollar, you get five of them in a pack. This cost me probably with all the materials used 75 cents to create this wall hook. So I just really love how cost effective and easy this project is. It's also super quick too. So you can make a ton of these, give them to your friends. I mean, here you go, here's a wall hook. I don't know exactly what they're gonna do with it. You never know. So um, I just created these. This is a before and the after, super cost effective and fun. And I also painted the screws gold. That way when you screw it in the wall, it just sort of matches the vibe. And we are on to the last project. This one is another super simple one, but I just wanted to give you guys the idea that when you're in the dollar store, check the holiday aisles, check the Easter aisle, the Valentine aisle, whatever it may be, you can find some stuff that you can actually use and repurpose into really amazing home decor. So I found these Easter baskets. I broke the handles off of the Easter basket and you get two for a dollar after Easter. So it was only 50 cents each. I used a little bit of chalky finish spray paint and I went ahead and I just sprayed this on the entire basket. And I had to do about two to three coats of the spray paint to cover up the ugly orange, pink, and green wicker element of this basket. But in the end, it ended up looking really, really nice. And the chalky finish kind of gave it a matte 
look, which I also really liked. It wasn't glossy or anything, so it kind of looked like the wicker was naturally this color to start off with. And then we ended up with this really pretty cream-toned basket. And then I used a little bit of black paint and a paintbrush to paint around the top edge of the basket. I just thought it added a nice touch to it instead of leaving it plain. But as you can see, we took an Easter basket, a simple, colorful, bright Easter basket, and turned it into a storage basket. And you can put this in your bathroom, you can put it in your bedroom, wherever you need to store items. This is a great way to sort of repurpose a basket that you may already have. And I think that finishes up today's video. I hope you guys really enjoyed those projects that I featured, and I definitely think that they are very pretty, but also very functional at the same time, which is the best type of decor. Something that actually serves a purpose, but also looks pretty on the shelf, or looks pretty in whatever it is doing, on the wall, on the shelf, on the floor, wherever it is, it just looks nice. And if you would like, you can definitely subscribe to my channel for brand new home decor and DIY content every single week. There's a subscribe button below. It's 100% free, um, and you can also make sure to leave a comment below letting me know if you guys have any video ideas. And last but not least, if you'd like to follow Follow me on Instagram for more behind the scenes type stuff. It is Lone Fox Home and my personal Instagram where I share more fashion based content and my own personal lifestyle stuff is I'm Drew Scott. I'll put it on the screen in case you want to follow me over there as well. And honestly, that's really all. I'll catch you guys all in the next one. Have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you next time. Bye guys.